Hello, it's Roger Bisbee here from Skill Builder. And today I'm out on a flat roof. It's a badly laid flat roof and it's got a few leaks. What the guys did is put a load of plywood over it, nail it down. The plywood is too thin. I reckon it's probably only the half inch or 12 mil plywood. And the nails are popping up all over the place. Plus they only put one layer of felt on, which is okay if it's good torch on felt and you've got a green mineral cap but this stuff is the stuff that you're supposed to put the loose chippings over. So in the summer, when the hot sun's on it, it's black, it's absorbing the heat and it's moving around and it's melting the tar all along the edges. And that's eventually gonna fail. In fact, we've got a few random leaks here, but the whole thing is really shot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a few emergency repairs now with this sealer flex, sealer crete, with this sealer flex, Sealacrete, it's a little emergency pack, but I've actually used this on whole roofs. You can actually use it straight onto plywood without any felt if you use the membrane. But for this purpose, I'm just gonna patch up these bits of felt. This will work in the wet, it will work in the dry. So it's a good product for doing this job. But eventually what I wanna do in the summer, when the weather picks up a bit, is go over the whole roof with a larger tub of this Sealaflex so that the whole thing is completely watertight and I think if I do that it'll hold the thing together. I don't know what I'm going to do about those fixings coming up because a few of the nails are working their way up. They should never have nailed it. They should have either used ring shank nails or better still screws on it. But there you go. For the sake of getting a decent contractor in they probably got a bargain price on this. Thought they were getting a good deal and it turned out that all they've got is trouble for the future. So I'll get cracking and uh, show you what's involved. It's quite cold today so this is harder to work. You get a warm sunny day it flows a lot easier. But the good thing is it can be done summer or winter. Don't really have to worry about spreading it out too much because that will soak into all the cracks. Do a lovely job. You can use this on timber with the primer, the small bottle of primer that comes in. If you've got any kind of dusty surfaces, any old surfaces, and you can also use it on concrete, metal. If you've got an old tin roof and the joints are leaking, you can go over the top. And it's not a bodge, it's a good repair. It's a lot better than some of those things like mastic. Trouble with mastic is it heats up in the sun and it moves around, which is basically what's happening with this sheet, this felt roof, because it's only stuck down with a kind of tar. And of course, as that tar reaches critical temperature and softens and the seams lift and it cracks, In a way, in this day and age, I'm surprised we're still using products like that really because there's so many good polymers around. There's so many other things like GRP that you wonder why we should still be sticking things down with bitumen based materials. You can argue that with me if you want, I don't mind. There may be good reasons for it, but I don't know. You can do this with a roller rather than a brush. A little mini roller or something. Work just as well. 
Might as well use the whole lot now. Not enough left in the tub to save, but if you didn't use it all, you can just put the lid back on, keep it for another job. And obviously if you decide to, you can recoat this at a later stage, but it shouldn't really need it. I mean, 10 years down the line, you might want to go over the whole lot. The great thing about that is that being light gray, I think you can also get this in a silver color as well, but maybe not now. But I've even seen a church roof done with the whole of the roof, plywood, and they've gone over with the primer and then the fleece and then this. And the reason they did it was because certain people were going up there all the time and stealing the lead roof, taking all the lead off in the middle of the night. So after that had happened a couple of times, they thought enough is enough. We've got to find a better alternative. So they did it with this. They took all the lead away. Well, no, the lead was already taken away by the thieves. And then they just went straight over the timber with this and even put in a few wooden rolls to make it look like lead. You can actually dress or paint this stuff over the top of the, those rolls that you get that divide up lead roofs, wood rolls. And um, as I say, I'm gonna come back and do the rest of the roof later on in the year. So I might even make another video of that. I think it's a fairly big roof this, but it cost about 200 quid for the materials to do it. I'm going to throw that brush away now, not worth cleaning. 200 quid for the materials. And you've got yourself a roof. If I was leaving this and I wanted to clean those bits up, I'm going to just wait till they're dry. But uh, if you need to, put down some kind of mat or cloth to work off, maybe a bit of cardboard or something, so that you don't make quite such a mess as I've made here. And just before I go, by the way, because this is messy stuff, I've tried to work as cleanly as I possibly can, but what I'd recommend is that you get yourself a tub of wipes. These big wipes are exceptionally good for this kind of thing. They've got an impregnated surface. They've got one rough side and one smooth side, so they will clean all that stuff off. An absolute treat. As you can see, brings the hands up, there's the gray. Spotless. And if you wanted to clean up around you on some of these other little spots, I'll just show you how effective it is at doing that. So that's it really, that's the job done, quick repair and that will definitely stop that leak coming through on that particular spot. As I say, there's a lot more to do, but I hope you found that interesting. That's a, a good product to use. Um, Sealer Leak, they call it. It's from Sealer Flex. And it's now being marketed in this DIY kit form by iCapal. There's another product out there called Flex Acryl, which is also very good, does the job. And that's got chopped fibers already in it. And I've used that on various jobs, and that just saves you putting the mat down, but slightly different approach, but both of those products I think are very, very similar in their, in their makeup. In fact, they may even be the same chemical for all I know. So I'm Roger Bisby, thanks very much for watching and I uh, hope you found that interesting. Don't forget to subscribe. We need subscribers, we love subscribers. Come back soon and see what we're up to. Okay, thanks a lot and bye.